Hi everyone, out here at the 2021 Moab Easter Jeep Safari at the Jeep brand Concept Drive. Behind me is the Far Out Concept. Uh, it's a Gladiator diesel built into an Overland vehicle. Let's take a quick tour of it. So this is kind of an evolution of the Way Out Concept from 2019. Both were Gladiators, both were Overland style builds. This one though takes things a little bit further. Starting up front, got ox lights, steel bumper, bull bar, worn winch. These are 37 inch Falcon Wild Peak mud terrain tires. These are 1552 wheels. Uh, the color matches this exterior color, which is an upcoming production color. It's known as Earl, which I take to be a reference to Earl Grey. Anyway, cool accent colors on this thing. It's pretty subtle from afar, but then you get up close and you can see green accents on the hood and all around. There it says far out across the hood. Down the side, more green. Look inside. It's got plaid seats. Uh, these are actually flannel shirts that the design team purchased and cut up to use as upholstery. Blue leather with orange stitching across the dashboard matches the theme from the seats. A couple pillows in the back. You'll notice there are awnings on either side of this thing. And then it's a massive rooftop tent up there. It's actually a pretty robust unit. So it folds out. So this thing would fold into itself for transportation. But the rear quarters here, so you can see these side windows fold down into tables. They've got a little bobblehead there and a lantern. Same for the other side. And then we can actually climb up in here. You've got, for starters, a pull-out stove and refrigerator. And then they've got this setup where we can actually climb up in there. So we've got a step here. You notice the inside of the bed has been sprayed orange, which is another cool contrasting color to the gray exterior. Wood table, that's all bolted down. Wooden bench here with another pillow. Got some more accent materials here. And then we can climb up into this thing. So we've got room for probably up to four people in here. Uh, other panels would go in place right here to create a sleeping area where I'm standing right now. But we can climb. We're allowed to stand on anything that's wood. Just why I'm doing that. So we've got pillows. Bedding. This is a Nemo tent, which I thought was kind of cool to see. I've never seen them in an automotive application before. Anyway, obviously this thing all folds up. Plenty of ventilation. This side's open. Both sides are actually open. You can see the awnings there. And you can even climb out onto the roof rack here. Stand on the roof. So plenty of floor space. I mean, you've got the bed, you've got this tent up top, you can stand on the roof, you've got the awnings. Plenty of areas to hang out, plenty of shade, plenty of sleeping, cooking, all kinds of space. And there are also constellations on, I guess, what would be the top of the tent when it's closed and the underside when it's open. I bet those were a pain to put on. This tent and bed cap unit is built by Overland Equipment. Like I said, diesel engine, so it sounds pretty cool when you start it up. One drawback to the camper on the back though is that your rear view mirror becomes useless. You really have no more visibility out the back. I guess maybe you have a little that much. So you'd have to rig up some kind of a digital rear view mirror, which could be done, wouldn't be that complicated, but without it, rear view mirror is pretty much useless. This vehicle, it looks pretty muted and subdued from the outside and from far away. And then when you get up close, it's cool because you've got bright green accents on the exterior. In here, you've got a blue dashboard, uh, blue leather dashboard, and then blue leather seats with these cool inserts. And then you go in the back 
and there is a constellation design on the underside of the fold-out tent and then the entire bed is bedlined in orange and then on top of that they've got like wood paneling over the roof here on that like front porch style roof rack and then there's wood paneling in the rear and so this thing's really cool uh it's pretty subtle from far away then you get up close and uh obviously there's been a very artistic approach taken when it comes to designing the little details on this thing so i think that's a good enough look at the far out concept this is definitely one of my favorites here from the 2021 moab easter jeep safari thanks for watching